Here we are on the 29th of March, around noon. Take a little greenhouse tour. 2020. We, 2020. We want to see the snow around the edges of the greenhouse. And uh, it's kind of a cloudy, overcast day. And then here we have the Virgin of Guadalupe. Having a viewing of the greenhouse while everything is at peak performance. So we'll be walking down with her. Okay. Okay. Go. So go ahead. You go on down. In the high 40s outside today, and it is 70 inside. So keep it on the okay? So as you can see, everything is doing really well. The chard, the uh, symposi, some calendula, some arugula. Another char that's getting ready to come back. We had this for dinner the other night. The beets. The beets right down here looking great. More calendula. It's all volunteers the calendula is for seeds. Some gets excited. Nice kale. Lots of kale. Just has to be eaten up now. It's just wonderful. And then we have a little tat soy and uh, my zuma, I think. Yeah, my zuma. Some nice Asian greens. More kale. The red char that's, we'll come back in a bit, that's been with us for years. And the Virgin's liking this part. And then regular rainbow char. I mean, look how happy that is. The rosemary. And then we'll turn around about here and come back around and look at the other side. So look at look at this alligator kale. Can you believe it? And it's totally ready now because it's going to seed in it. The leaves, we had some for breakfast today. It was great. And uh, it's, it's also several years old. Just keeps putting out new seeds and new sprouts and and then as we get over here we'll have we'll put the virgin in the garden for a little minute here so then we have the fruit trees that overwinter in here and, and the rosemaries everything will be happier when they can start being outside and probably about a month for the rosemaries but more like two months for the the fruit trees this this beautiful plant is from my pot at the end of the season i love this and it's hard to find these days. Um, but I can make cuttings from this. I haven't tried, but but uh, the nursery said yes, I can pretty easily. Now would be a good time. More varieties of kale in here. Look how, look how beautiful these leaves are. I mean, they're, it's just perfect. I pinched off the growing top so we can have a little more time. No bugs. It's wonderful. And just perfect leaves. And here's a monstrous chard from several years ago also. That we keep just cutting back and eating. And, and then uh, little starts of radish. And we were supposed to see carrots in here, but I don't think they're coming. And then more chard and kale mixed in. And then that way also. So you can see things. Yeah, this is this is another enormous kale. Isn't it funny what they do when they've been in here a few years? Fruit trees are blooming. It smells wonderful in here. The bougainvillea, this one's getting ready to. That one's going strong, the white one. 
It's just, it's amazing what these older plants are doing. The fish are happy. We, you know, we're not gonna need heat too much more, I don't think. We only really turn the heat on when it gets down below 20. Um, I don't think we'll have too many more times. Yeah. 